Narottam Das Thakur is praying. I will pray with the desire to always be able to sing about the Rasika pastimes of the Yuga Lakishore, who are my very life. I will pray with the desire to always be able to sing about the Rasika pastimes of the Yuga Lakishore, who are my very life. The fallen Narottam Das says, in life or in death, I don't want anything else. So good, it is exactly your mood. <laughs> nothing else in life or in death, and always to sing about the Rasika pastimes of Radha Mohan. That is so auspicious. That is uh, everything there is. Everything is included in that package. Leela Rasa Sada Gana. And why singing is so important? Because singing is is more emotional than speaking most of the time. Singing is from the voice and the voice is here and it comes directly from the heart. So he always is wishing and praying for that, that he can sing and glorify Radha Mohan's leelas, their, their games, their sports, their enjoyments and their love. He doesn't want anything else. Sometimes the devotee asks, uh, what does it have to do with my life? And I ask, if there's anything in this that doesn't have to do with my life, then what is my life? It has everything to do with my life, even in my daily activities, in all of my feelings and thinking, I try to please the divine couple and I see them in everyone else's life also. I see Shimati Radhika in all, you know, affairs of love and exchanges of love. And I see Mohan, he's enjoying the love. He is also relishing the love. When we have loving relationships, it's not only uh, how do you say, my own life. It's also their interest. Gurudev is also happy when my life is happy and my relations are happy. Even that is a, is a starting point to become balanced. And then when this balance in the mind and in the heart is there, then I can more absorb into that, you know, deeper rasikal relish of Radha Mohan's love. And that how Mahaprabhu came to give that and how all our Gurudev and his Gurudev and their Gurudevis, all of them are in that service only. They also had their normal lives. Look at our Gurudev, he's a king. He was born in a king's family. Now he's a Dasi. That was his past life, but still he has five children. What does it have to do with my life? I want to do everything in such a way that everything is harmonized. Everyone is so more or less happy. And also I can absorb my mind and my heart in that because that is the goal to always see behind everything the life of Radha Mohan's happiness. There, Lila, Rasa, Sada and Gana singing about that. You know, in the spiritual world, we have heard many times, every word is a song. So have you noticed when someone is very happy, they also speak as if they are singing because they are so happy. This morning. Yes. This morning we read from Villa Kushmanjali and that was exactly this 
picture when Radha and Mohan on the border of Radha Kund stay together arm in arm and singing love songs. That was so beautiful. It was described in this morning verse and we go very deep in this. And exactly what you say, no? they was together arm in arm embrace and both singing love songs to each other. So beautiful. Wow. Thank you, Aura, for sharing this. This is the life. This is the life. And that's why we love love songs and we love love movies. And we want also our life to be a story of love. <laughs> Everyone loves that. Everyone loves to see a happy face and to hear a happy voice. And the culmination, the, the, the essence, the quintessence is the love of Srimati Radhika for us Dasis. And there was also described that Krishna is not so act attracted to a physical body, but he is attracted because Radhika's body is made of love. Wow. Wow. Her arm, when she embraces him, is actually a part of a body of Mahabhav. And so this is what he makes him crazy. <laughs> and full of love. I think it was the verse 79. When, give, when will you give me great joy singing sweet love songs with the Prince of Raja while you embrace him with your very graceful arms and he holds his strong arm on your low shoulders. But exactly now you pick this up and we continue. So beautiful. It's eternal, right? It is eternal and it is like connected. All of this connected. We are connected. That is mercy of Radha Mohan, that we can always meet in their loving songs, in their love, and we can pray that we also be part of this love song. We hear their love songs and we want to sing the love songs to them. <laughs> Gopinath I also said, you sing that he was so happy with this melodies that remembers him so much. Who? Gopinath. Oh. He was here, no good. Yeah, standing. He enjoyed it and so this much. Is the fact. This is the fact. Yeah. When you are all happy, then I know Radha Mohan is happy, and when they are happy, we must be happy because when we are the, the servants, the Dasis, then there's nothing in between anymore. Yeah. Therefore, the practicing Gaudiya Vaishnavas take their identification with their Siddha Rupa along to relish the flavors of the divine pairs, forms, attributes, and pastimes. Thus, experiencing bliss and delicacy, you know, it's a delicacy, it is tasty, it's juicy, it's full of ras that stands supreme throughout the spiritual world. It's the highest delicacy. It's the highest, sweetest taste. And my life, it is ideally also one expression of this love. And how I came to this love and how the love is increasing. 
it can increase in any moment because I am the servant of love so even if there's no love then that is only like a test how to come into back into love so amazing Guru if you were reading about this love this morning also <laughs> yeah we are all love drunken we are drunken we want to drink not only the divine but we want to also become the servants of the honey wine yes we want to listen the love songs of Radha Mohan how they are whispering into each other's uh, ears you know when they embrace and I remember that verse Gurudev once we were reading it in a Sunday class or I think in a Croatian class and you explained that this verse is actually Mahamantra because they are embracing each other and the Mahamantra is also that divine embrace of Radha and Mohan And we're watching. <laughs> we are watching, we are serving, we are also relishing this love because love is always very uh, contagious. You know, when you see someone who is in love, oh, you also have to smile, your face becomes very happy. Like we know, our Gurudev is the biggest matchmaker. Because he wants to see everyone in love. Right, Gurdiv? That's why you love weddings. <laughs> and once I asked Gurdiv, why we always should have a party? Why are parties so important? He said, because it is, uh, our life is a party. Why not? Because it's a feeling of happiness and joy and connection. And one and when it has everything to do with my life, this what we are reading and praying, then everywhere I see Radha Mohan, in every couple that comes together and have a happy life, we can see and feel Radha Mohan. And Gurudev is like that. He sees in all the couples Radha Mohan. That's why there are in Munga Mandya also many, many beautiful couples who like to get married there. So, and Maratam Das Thakur, he has the same desires. He, he wants to be always in that absorption of their beautiful uh, love um, meetings and, and songs and he wants to listen and he wants to praise, he wants to sing about that. Because in that moment when we sing also we are connected. The song has an impact on my heart, on my consciousness. That singing is the singing of the soul. The soul that wants to again serve Radha Mohan and develop the purest love to Srimati Radhika by serving their love. So that is the prayer that Naratam Das Tako is singing about. The devotional service of the Divine Pair is what I most pray and yearn for. And then Baba says Bhakti means service or seva. The service of the Beloved is the devotee's ever sought for object, is what the devotees always want. And to them, devotional service means happiness and everything else misery. And that is not only one thing, it is external, it's in the heart. Because in my daily activities, I also want to serve Radha Mohan and the Vaishnavas and Gurudev by serving all the souls that come together with me, whether they are my children or my neighbors or my work. Uh, uh, friends or my boss to, to create the harmony and to create something from maybe negative to positive it is very good it's the service of the of the mandaris even sometimes 
not, uh, our Swamini is in, in a not so good mood, but then, oh, 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 quickly we have to find some way how to change that she will not run away from Mohan. Her man has to be pacified. And therefore service, 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 seva. You know, one of the first CDs that we produced in the 90s, the name of the CD was Seva. I didn't even know at that time what the meaning was, but now I'm happy that we called it Seva. Because that's our life. To see everything in that, in that regard, how it is service. Like Gurdiv, if you are sitting there on your chair and you are doing from morning to night 24-7 service. It's so amazing to feel it and to flow in your service. One outsider may think, oh, he is a sitting Baba. What is he sitting on his chair all day long? But this is very, very outside. <laughs> Who he is serving 24-7. And you're also so merciful that you can have you know, you can have everyone to witness this, to feel it. And you allow us to be with that, with your service. To feel your service, Gurudev. The service that goes from top to bottom, from A to Z, with all the limbs, with all the feelings, inside, outside. That is Alanga, is a oneness. So the service of the Beloved is the ever sought object for the devotees. To them, devotional service means happiness. And everything else is misery. Especially those who render service in Manjari Bhav are wholly, fully dedicated to service. Service is their very life and they are always immersed in desires for service. So, Suniti, you describe this service mood, but actually we can understand that one is really in service when there is a relationship. And we can see that there is a real relationship between Radha Mohan and Gurudev. And this we have to understand. It is not that we thinking the whole day, oh, I do service. So like a mother, she's not the whole day thinking, I do service to my child. This is a, because of a relationship, a loving relationship. Then this is automatic. This is your life. This mood. Yes, it's natural. It becomes natural. It's my natural uh, feeling. And um, we are, the Darcy is surrounded this. And this we have to enter this feeling in our hearts that we get also this relationship. Bahada Mohan. For our Guru Manjari and those who are practicing before we come. Thank you. Thank you, Gorasuna, for sharing the mood this morning also for this eternal love and how to serve this love because service means become connected. Service means to create a relationship. It comes by itself, so to say. Service and relationship are connected so deeply that just by serving someone, that's why Nara Tom Das Taku is praying for this service. Then also the, the closeness, the intimacy, what Gopinath said so nicely on Sunday Zoom, the intimacy is important. How close can the mandri come when she's putting the nose ring with a pearl, you know? Just 
yeah, just just practice it once. It is very close. It's eye to eye, lip to lip service. And just to to imagine it, uh, it will purify me. Because now I'm in bodily consciousness, but when when I I think about this, how how the dasi is putting this nose ring, then I will be purified, and I can also pray for this closeness in every breath, in every moment of my life. I can pray for that to remember what is this closeness and how to to always feel it during the day in every activity in every person that i meet to create this service feeling and this loving relationship so now comes the prayer from narottam dastakur to shrimati radhika so what does it have to do with me when i listen it then i also become touched I feel thankful that I can listen Narottam Das Thakur's prayers by the mercy of Gurudev. He has given that service. He is giving my ears the the nectar, the medicine, and listening this, my heart will also become attracted. And when my heart becomes attracted, then my mind will be peaceful. It's all. It has everything to do with us. Everything. Don't doubt it. Oh, Queen of my heart, be kind to me this time. Holding a straw between my teeth and keeping my hands folded on my head, I pray to you. I will blissfully serve you along with your dear girlfriends dressing your limbs Please keep me among your beloved companions for the service to your lotus feet May I always stay in the company of your maid servants who joyfully serve you with fragrant sandalwood pulp jewel ornaments and silken garments mm. on the indication of the sakis i will fill up a jeweled pitcher a jeweled container a glass a, a picture with scented water and i will bring camphor scented betel leaves garlands of cloves and jasmine and different matchless edibles to lalita so that she can serve the divine pair with these things Narottam Das says, "May I thus once stand behind the sakis, awaiting orders from the divine pair?" This reminds me also of how to serve takojis in our homes. Once I ask Gurudev how to how to uh, offer the the boga, and Gurudev said, "Just put it there, and you just." remember your guru devi and you you ask her to help you and she will bring it to radha mohan we have here the same thing the 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 dasi is standing on the indication of her older friends she will fill up a jeweled glass container with scented water and will bring betel leaves garlands and different matchless edibles to lalita or to guru manjari so that she can serve the divine pair with these things if this is my meditation 
if that only comes into my heart, into my mind for one or two seconds, three seconds, then the we are blessed to remember who we are and what we are doing and why we are doing it. And then again he prays. Praneshwari, kabe more hobe kripaditi, agyaya aniya kabe vivida fulavara shuni bovachana duhumiti. O oh, Praneshwari, when will I get your merciful glance? When will I, on your order, bring different kinds of flowers and hear your sweet words? Mriga Mada Tilaka Sindura Bonayabo Lepapo Chandana Gandhi. I will decorate you with musk tilak and a stripe of sindur. I will anoint you with fragrant sandalwood pulp and I will string a garland of malati flowers that will make the bumblebees run towards it. So this bumblebee is Krishna or Mohan. That is the only intention of the Dasis to do every seva for Shrimati Radhika that will make the bumblebee run towards it. That is their prayers, their meditations. And also in my daily life, I can always connect with it in everything I do as much as possible with that loving relationship to Shrimati Radhika, to Mohan, to my Gurudev and how to make it more intense. When will Lalita give me a fan with which I can softly fan them, drying up the sweat drops from their bodies? I will see all of this in topmost ecstasy. These are the songs of Naradam Nastakova. They are full of la Lila, Rasa and Gana because in that all is included. The pastime, the singing and the Rasa also, the feeling of tasty, you know, services to make the taste increase between Radha Mohan and the whole situation, whatever situation that will be. Naratam hopes that he can drink the sweet beverage of service to their lotus feet. Now that is a sweet sentence. He's giving in his, in his uh, service, he's giving the sweet beverages, but he also says in his Sadaka Deha, I am hoping that I can drink the sweet beverage of their service to their lotus feet because that in itself is already the juice. We are giving the juice but also we are drinking the juice. With our ears now we are drinking, with our hearts and with our imagination we are practicing how to make it alive. <laughs> But alas, now he comes again to his sadaka deha, to his feeling of, you know, humility. I see no signs that such a blessed day is going to come when I can see these two with my own eyes. Is this now negativity? No, this is his humility. His meditation is already focused there, but in his humility, he says, oh my God, I feel so far away from that. Even Naratam Das Thakur is feeling like that. So also we should not be hopeless when these feelings come to me. These feelings are also like a wave of love. I want more feelings. I want more feeling connection. 
I want more feeling of purity or myself as a Darcy. It's all connected. It's a wave. These feelings are going in waves. Sometimes the waves are higher and sometimes the waves are going deep, diving. Like Gurudev, you always say we should not swim. Only swimming is not enough. Not only enjoying, but diving deeply. You give us this hope, Gurudev, by praying this for us and wishing this for us. You give me great hope. <laughs> and in this life, the service is worth desiring and after death, after the leaving of the body, also the same service rendered in Siddha Swarup is most desirable. A pure devotee desires nothing else but this. Therefore, Naratam says, Jiva ne marane e ara kichu nahi chai, kohe dina naratamadas. Radha and Mohan, the monarchs of my heart, are my shelter in this life and in the next. Those who have become the eternal associates of the divine couple, having become overwhelmed by their blissful mutual love. These sakis and manjaris are the necklaces around my heart and around my neck. May this matter always remain in my heart. That is today's mercy from Naratam Nastaku. Anybody would like to share on this or give us some more inspiration and some more feelings? Vidya, I'd like to add this from the pearl, what you said, what Gopinath explained also, but um, Gurudev add also something to this picture of the pearl when Tulsi put this pearl on Swamini's nose close to her mouth. Then Gurudev adds one point that is most beautiful. Actually, what she is doing there, she put Krishna close to Swamini's mouth. This decoration that comes so close to her is actually her service to put Krishna close to her. And this is so beautiful to meditate on this, that actually he is, sometimes he is a bee, sometimes he is a pearl, like this, and Goranga Sundara, he said that this pearl sometimes change also the color, depending on the mood. It is very beautiful, and also this meaning of this golden string. Actually, this book, good if added, he said, even he read it hundreds of times in different languages. So many times something comes, what is absolutely new to him also. This is so such a beautiful meditation, this to to open this treasure. And uh, this I like to add because this pearl on her, on Swamini's nose, so close to her beautiful lips. Actually, this is the goal of that, what the Manjaris, the service of the Manjaris, to bring Mohan close to Swamini. And to see this, 
This is really the beauty. When we see also like this morning, this picture of Radha and Mohan, arm in arm and singing love songs. We are the viewer of this. We bring them together. We serve them. This is so such a deep meaning. And Ananda Das Babaji explained that in different verses, how Krishna is attracted to her love. Because her love, her body is made of this love. And she sings, I remember only one small thing, she sings in this love song, she will open her breast to put him in her heart. This is so beautiful. This poesy of this loving pair. And we go every day here deep and deeper in these topics. And by the mercy of this, what you say now, Narottam Das, or even deeper what I can feel is Raghunath Das. We can listen to the words of our Swamini. This is the unique experience that we can listen their words only by the mercy of those who can really listen to this. And we desire that we get this connection also, that we can listen directly her words. <laughs> and we put straw in our mouth. Why? Because we are ashamed that we still in this body consciousness. You just read this now that he is praying with straw in her mouth. What is the meaning of this? I mean, even if we listen to this beautiful this times or play times, we are still in the bodily consciousness. So if we're praying, we put this straw in our mouth that we are ashamed of this. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Niti, now we have the same picture in the background, you see? Yeah, that's why I put the camera like this today. <laughs> <laughs> the Radha Konda Water Game School Day. Good if now also. Can I show good if? He put also his Guru Manjari picture from the base there. You can see? In yes, front of beautiful. him. Yes. <laughs> he he made today. To always remember, Gurudev. Always remember that who I am and how I look like. This, yes. And we need also these pictures. This picture is helpful to go deep, no? Hallo, grüße Sie. Ich bin hier Dauergast langsam, ne? Ja, 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 ja morgen geht's los, ja. Oh, äh, uh, ja, Bradeshwari, you, you, you for, we can aus. listen you. Bradeshwari, <lacht> Dadi, Dadi. Can you oh, mute your mic? 
Eh? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Anybody else would like to share on this? I feel you're all very happy. Yeah, I want to share also, but not to disturb things. Uh, I have think, uh, Gaurasunda, you say with the picture, and I have also experience um, in my room, in the picture, stay in my bed, and people is very surprising, don't want, don't know what it is, but wow, this is so attracting of me. <laughs> it's so nice. It's a, it's a very good experience, yes. <laughs> Thank you. These pictures are actually a verse in Villa Kushmanjali in a painting form. So you, if you like to be connected, you can read this in the we love Kushmanjali. It's the when Radha and Krishna do their water games, water play. They put water to each other, and it is from it's a wall on a on a room in on Radha Kun. In the place where Anandadas Babaji was meeting with devotees. It's very famous. And we love this picture very much. <laughs> 